Mega here and welcome to another Hayes Omega Sauron video all right as you can see the video is about what's in this box right here okay you can see this box it says not doesn't say it on that side but it says it on this side oh here it says it right here Manitou Manitou I think it's I think it's pronounced Manitou but I've been calling it Manitou okay I'm just gonna call it Manitou all right um, and there I guess it came from uh, it came from Wisconsin Mequon, Wisconsin. But so what this is is uh, my Manitou Dorado front fork. All right. So I, I finally bought a new fork for the Light V. All right. If you guys know about the history of my Light V, this is a 2018 Sauron Light V MX. All right. This came with the white RST Killer fork, and then I replaced it with one of the black RST Killer forks. I'm not gonna lie, the black one looks freaking dope, man. <laughs> I like the black look better on this color bike but the black RST fork is shit compared to the white one all right the white one at least has some you know it has some compliance you know the black one it has like no dampening at all all right but I did I did put a red spring in it and that might be why it's too stiff I'm not sure maybe I could have put the blue spring in it it came with the blue spring so maybe it's oversprung i'm not sure man but it's like a freaking jackhammer riding this thing i remember i liked the uh the white fork better all right now hazemig is more of a fan of the white fork the white fork with the bronze stanchions yeah mine used to be white but somebody painted it black anyway that's besides the point this is the new fork that i just bought i ordered it from worldwide cyclery it is a manitou or manitou uh, Dorado Comp, all right? It was, okay, so it's supposed to be the Manitou Dorado far, uh, Comp, all right? The competition. Um, so here is where I got it from. I got it from Worldwide Cyclery. They're up in Sparks, Nevada. Um, and I, Hazemig, so here's the story. Hazemig is looking for a new fork for a little while now, like a month or something. Be, ever since the Coyote Creek Enduro, when, when this bike beat the crap out of me, yeah, dude. Um, I th I said like that's it. I'm getting a new fork. This this fork just is garbage. <laughs> so let's say. So Hayes Vegas has been looking for forks. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, let me tell me you the story. After I tell you how where I got it from. All right, I got it from Worldwide Cyclery, and this is the the one the one that I bought. All right, I don't know which one this is because it's got stickers for something else. All right, is the Manitou Dorado Comp Suspension Fork, 29 inch. 203 millimeter and 20 by 110 millimeter 57 millimeter offset black straight steer okay and it costs $1,224.99 okay okay pretty expensive all right that's about how much a good fork costs all right um and yeah and that's that's before taxes I, I did get it free shipping all right I love Worldwide Cyclery. I bought a couple things from them, and I always get free shipping. They're fast, and they, you know, they got stuff, all right? Um, and they're not too far from me. They're in Sparks, Nevada, you know? Um, and the, the total damage, total damage, $1,339.83. Ouch, my wallet, my wallet hurts a lot right now. My wallet is mad, mad at me, okay? But I had to get this. Yeah, I figure I can recoup some of the money by selling my old RST forks because they're still in okay shape is what I'm going to say, okay? So I'm going to sell, I'm going to ditch all those old RST forks and we're going to go with this bad boy, okay? Um, so here, here's the story. So after the Coyote Creek Sprint Enduro, riding the freaking RST Killer Jackhammer, all right? Like my arms just died. Like my, I cannot grip the handlebars. It was that bad. Like I need something with a more plusher ride. If, if we... If the forks actually do work, if the suspension does work, I don't have to do work and I can ride harder and longer and faster. Right? 
so so that that is that is why I decided to get this. All right. So a little review of the RSD Killer Fork. If the surfaces are are relatively flat, you know, if you're gonna ride on the street or you know you're you're on a nice nice kind of groomed trail, it's not too bumpy at all, then you'll be fine with the RSD Killer Fork. All right. Now if there's rocks, ruts washboards whoops anything like that you're gonna have to slow down a little bit or it's just gonna beat the crap out of you all right that's that's why they call it the rsd killer it kills your arms <laughs> that's apparently from what i heard all right it is a little joke right there but uh but yeah okay so so hey so make a new ah i, I need i need a new fork man I, I need a new fork because we're not gonna be able to win races we're not gonna be able to win, win dirt bike races all right i race this at supermoto and it's perfectly fine for supermoto, all right? I, for for racing in a supermoto, like on a track and a mini motocross track, it's fine, all right? And the good thing about the RS, this RSD killer, I, it it doesn't bottom out, all right? I've put the red spring in there and it doesn't bottom out, man. Like some people say theirs bottoms out, mine doesn't, man. It, it That's the only thing it, that's good about it, it doesn't bottom out. Like it, my white one bottomed out, my old one, it bottomed out. That's why I had to add that preload spacer in there. Yeah, this one doesn't bottom out. It's it's too stiff, okay? It's it's like almost there's like no suspension at all, all right? It doesn't move at all. So that's why I want to replace it. Um, so I was everyone says Fox 40, Fox 40. You get a Fox 40, you know, that's the best out there, all right? There's no there's no disputing it. The Fox 40 is probably one of the best forks out there, mountain bike forks, but it's also like the most expensive. It's like $2,000 is literally half the cost of this bike man I, I don't want to spend that kind of money so Hayes Vega was thinking you know I could I could do a thousand dollars I could do a thousand dollars all right so so I, I was looking at some forks and I looked at Marzocchi Bomber 58 all right so I heard that the Marzocchi Bomber is a uh, a kind of a cheaper version of the Fox 40 all right it's it's very similar to the Fox 40, but it it's, doesn't have some of the fancy stuff that the Fox 40 has. It doesn't have like high speed tuning circuits and stuff like that, right? And Hayes Mega doesn't need that because I'm not good at tuning stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, so Hayes Mega has I said on a Marzocchi bomber, all right, and and I've had Marzocchi, I've had Marzocchi forks before. Uh, I had Marzocchi forks on my my Victory Impulse TT, and I thought they were very good. Okay, uh, and they're like an Italian brand, I think. I don't know what kind of association they have with Fox, but yeah. Uh, and then, uh, and then Hades Mega heard about the Manitou Dorado. Actually, I I I rode with the guy that had one of these. All right, so I didn't get. Unfortunately, I didn't get to ride his bike. Uh, so I I don't know what it's like to ride with this thing. Uh, but uh, but yeah, he uh, he got. That's how I heard about the Dorado fork. All right, and then. I learned that it, the Dorado fork is a up, what's called an upside down fork, all right? So if you look at this, the stanchions are on the top and then they go in and out, right? So an upside down fork has the outers, all right, on the top and the lowers, the stanchions on the bottom, all right? So all the moving stuff happens on the bottom. Um, it's debatable whether which one is better, but supposedly an upside down fork is better for racing than a right side up fork because the mass, uh, all the mass of stuff, all uh, of the the forks is up up closer towards the the center of the bike, okay, as opposed to like the bottom, right? So all the it's the the bottom where all the wheels and stuff are is is where all the lighter components are, right? Um, the bot the bad thing about an upside down fork is if you get a fork if your forks start leaking, then then yeah the the fluid starts leaking downwards instead of like dribbling down like up and out it's it just it's pointing down and they just it just kind of pukes it out okay because <laughs> uh, i have my kx my klx 140 has a kx uh kx 65 or kx 100 front forks okay and uh, and i i know that <laughs> okay um so what's what's one of the reasons that i wanted to go with the dorado fork all right the manitou dorado over the the marzocchi bomber is it was upside down all right it has stanchion guards, all right? Because I've been right, I've been right doing these freaking mud races, and mud packs up like on the fork brace, and it scratches the shit out of the uh, the stanchions, all right? And then um, and then yeah, your stanchions are damaged. So 
The good thing about upside down forks is they have fork guards, all right? They have these little plastic deflectors that like will keep the mud off of your stanchions. It'll protect it, okay? So that's one of the, another reason. And then the next reason is it doesn't have a cross brace, okay? Um, so you see here, to, to make this fork stiffer, they have a cross brace across it, all right? And, and with the 21 inch front, it just mud packed up on that cross brace and it just like, it pretty much caused me to not have a good race, okay? <laughs> so I would say, all right? Yeah, the, the, it was the front wheel locked up and everything. It did not work very well with the 21 inch front is what I'm gonna say, okay? Um, so, so this fork does not have a cross brace. It has stanchion guards, all right? So it, it's it's going to be more rugged, all right? It's going to be able to handle more punishment, like in adverse conditions, all right? So that's what I need. I can't I can't have mud packing up all over everything and just destroying my shit all over, every time I go racing it. So like it's Hayes Mega doesn't want to race in mud, all right? But if I have to, I will, all right? But if it's like torrential downpour and it's just like a slip and slide, Hayes Mega will not race in that anymore, okay? But if I have to race in some kind of mud, I want to have the uh, I want I want that insurance that like my the front components aren't going to pack up with mud and the stanchions aren't going to it's not going to destroy my fork okay so so that's that is my reasoning with getting with the upside down fork all right so there's also the the DNM volcano fork all right and um, but the but that's like the it's not a very good fork okay <laughs> from, from what I heard I heard you can make it a better fork. But I went and bought a legit fork, all right? Because Hayes Vega is using his bike for racing, and I need a fork that does more of the work, all right? I need it to do more work so I can do less work, and I can focus more on riding, you know, other than other than like trying to get my get beat, batter my body. <laughs> so I say, all right, I'm getting old. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> so I say, all right. So anyway, this is what I got, all right. So we're gonna go unbox it right now. It was thirteen hundred dollars, about thirteen hundred dollars for worldwide cycling. Boohoo! It's uh, yeah, it's almost half the price of the Fox Forty. All right, it's a little bit cost a little bit more than the Marzocchi Bomber. Okay, but I, that's okay. I'll I'll take the upside. I, I wanted to go with the upside down fork this time. Okay, um, so a little surprise here, guys. Hayes Omega had ordered the Manitou Dorado Comp, all right? Oh, okay, yeah, let me talk about the different versions. There's three versions of the uh, Manitou Dorado, all right, that for the most current versions, all right? They're 37 millimeter um, stanchions, okay? They're 37 millimeter forks, so they're pretty beefy, I think. I think this is 36, so this is just a little bit thicker, all right? But they, they said it's pretty stiff, all right? So it doesn't need the fork brace and all that stuff. I'm, I don't want the fork brace anymore, man, <laughs> okay? Okay, so there's three versions of the Manitou Dorado, okay? There's the Comp, the Expert, and the Pro, okay? And obviously they get more expensive as they go up, right? So the Comp is the cheapest one and the Pro is the most expensive while the Expert is the one in the middle, all right? So um, the middle of the road price. So I bought the Comp one. The so these are the main differences between them, all right? There's more differences, but I'm just going to go over the main differences of why I chose this one, the Comp. Um, the Comp is, uh, it comes with a coil spring, all right? It's a coil sprung fork, all right? This makes not a really big fan of the air spring stuff, all right? Um, the Expert is the next model up. The Expert has an air spring, all right? So that's the one where you have to make sure you, you know, you have to pump it up to a certain PSI for dependent on your weight and stuff or the kind of riding that you're going to be doing all right so it's it's tunable it's pretty easily tunable by adding air into it all right but Hayes Mega is not a big fan of air air forks all right uh, I never tried one all right but I guess I will now so um, and then there's the pro all right the pro has is a has a carbon fiber lowers all right or yeah no, not the lowers um, the, a carbon fiber like fork legs all right the the part where the stanchions go in is made out of carbon fiber guys so it's like super light and super expensive too it costs about as much as the fox 40 okay so so that's the main difference um it's it's an air fork and it has a carbon fiber it's made out of carbon fiber man it's freaking awesome <laughs> okay um i think i think that this one is made out of aluminum so hayes mega ordered the comp 
but it looks like they sent me the expert because I was looking at the, the, the stickers on the box and it says expert. So we'll see what's inside here, okay? <laughs> Maybe it's just in an expert box. I'm not sure, okay? Um, so how I wound up with this guy is I was looking for forks. You know, there forks forks are not easy to find right now, guys. There's a, a serious shortage of bike components and forks apparently. And um, I couldn't find anything until like pretty recently. I was looking on eBay, uh, Dorado, um, yeah, Mountain 2 Dorado. I was like, oh, some somebody's got it on eBay. I like it. so, so hey, Zomega has ordered a couple things from Worldwide Cyclery, and I looked at it, and I'm like, mm, you know what? Let's see if Worldwide Cyclery has it first. And, and then so I go there, and they they do have it. All right, they have the one I want. It was a Mountain 2 Dorado Comp. All right, it was comp and it was a 29. You have to get the 29 inch version. All right, I know this is a 27.5, but I heard the 29 inch version will drop into this, okay, into the light B, without much, uh, without, without much work. Okay, is what I'm gonna say. So that's why I not get the 27.5. It, I supposedly, I think it's a little bit, lo it's a little bit longer than the 27.5. So it's gonna make the front taller, but that's okay. I already have a lifting link for the back, so. Uh, man, maybe I have to lift the back more. I don't know. <laughs> okay, but uh, but it looks like they sent me the expert instead. I now I didn't pay for the expert. I paid like thirteen hundred dollars. I better make sure how much money they took out of my bank account. But the comp is twelve hundred dollars. The expert is like fifteen hundred dollars. It's an extra like three hundred dollars extra. Okay, um, and the expert is like two thousand dollars. So yeah, it'd be nice. I, I mean the. The pro is two thousand dollars, so yeah, okay. Anyway, um, that's my story about the the Dorado fork. Let's go do the unboxing, and then uh, and then uh, that'll be it for now. And then we'll go install it. All right, in we go. All right, he's back here. We're doing an unboxing. So when we do unboxings, we look at the box first, obviously, right? So there it is. There's one part of the box. It says M on it. All okay, right? it says M. A big M. Hayes Performance Systems, all right? They're, I think they're the ones that sell these. If you go on Hayes' website, they got, they, they're, I guess they sell, I'm not really sure where they make this. I, Manitou sounds French, right? It sounds French to me or, or some kind of European. So, yeah. And then it says, answer, Hayes, Manitou, Sunring, Ring, Sunringle, and then Wheel Smith Spokes, okay? So I guess I guess maybe Hayes has some association with all these brands, okay? Maybe they're just they're the distributor for them in the United States or something. I'm not 100, okay? Um, I will put a subtitle below if I learn a little more history about Manitou, okay? Uh, www.mountainmtb.com, HayesComponents.com, uh, 5800 West, Dongus Bay Road, Mequon, Wisconsin. I think that's Wisconsin, WI, 53092. Okay, let's go take a look at uh, the side here. It has the M. All right, I got it upside down. There's the M. All right, that's the other side. It's good enough. It's, oh, it's okay. This is the, this is the shipping label. It's got all my, my juicy info on it, so I'm not going to show that to you guys. Okay, and then here we got the M, red M again with the Manitou logo or Manitou logo, all right? And then here it says Manitou again. How many times do we have to say that, right? And and this is a uh, FedEx is doing here. It's the back is a little bit damaged, so I hope it's an okay shape. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go unbox it. Uh, okay, why do they have to cover all this stuff, man? Anyway, so I've covered some of the juicy info. I got it from Worldwide Cyclery. Okay, you can see the label, the FedEx label here. Here's the part number. 191-38304-8201 part description Dorado EXP okay I think EXP stands for expert 37 that means that I think it's 37 millimeter fork okay and I think it's like 29 it's a 29 inch fork okay um, and it does say FK1828 right there that is the uh, Manitou Dorado expert suspension fork okay that's what it says right there. So that's that's why it makes me think that there's a Manitou expert in here and not a comp, 
All right, so that's not the 180s megabot, but that's the next model up. So, so if, if that's what I get, then uh, then that's good. But if I get my comp, that would be, you know, that's fine also because that's the one I want. All right, so well, some of the things, uh, some, some of the reasons I want the quill fork over the uh, air fork is like Hayes Mega is old school like that. You know, I've never used any uh, air forks at all. All right, but it's nice. It's easily tunable. But yeah, it's like it requires more maintenance. You got to make sure the air is proper all the time, okay? And it, it could leak, so you'd have to like rebuild it and stuff. Whereas I think the, the coil spring is less maintenance, all right? But then you have to have the proper spring in it, all right? So one of the drawbacks to the comp is I heard it's too soft. It's too soft for the, the Suron Light B. Because the Suron Light B is a freaking 100, 100 plus pound uh, mountain bike. <laughs> okay, they don't make 100 pound mountain bikes, guys. So, so it wasn't designed for that. So you gotta get like an extra stiff spring for it. And I had ordered it, I ordered it from Hayes, all right? Hayes components, as you saw on the box, all right? Where these where these come from, apparently. All right, um, so yeah, I, I don't know. Well, we'll see, we'll see what's in the box, all right? But uh, a Hayes Mega would prefer the coil spring one, okay? But if I get the air one, I'll, I'll give it a whirl, all right, okay. Ooh, there it is. That's what it looks like when you open the box. $1,200 worth of merchandise. Dorado stickers, all right? Lots of Dorado stickers. Why are they just black like that, man? I thought it was black and white. Okay, I don't know. Okay, oh, this is an important thing. You need this special spacer. Oh, there's a part number on it too, so I can order another one. You, this is, uh, you need a spacer for it because it's like a... Uh, it's a brake disc spacer, so you so it'll fit on the bike. So I heard that you need to use this. So the thing is, like, Hazel Mega has like three different front wheels, so I got to buy three of these. So um, I, I had to buy two more. I got one. I got one. So it comes with that a spacer for your rotor. All right. Um, and that's I heard if you have a rear spaced, if you have a rear spaced uh, rotor, you can use it on the front with this guy. Okay, because the spacing is different. Okay, and we'll find that out when I install it. And then this is a, a, it says service SA house guide with screws. I'm not really sure what this is. Okay, hopefully there'll be a manual. Okay. What's this? This is just a piece of cardboard. And then this is what we're looking at. All right, oh, this is the expert. This is the air spring. All right, Hayes Mega here, and I've decided we're going to do the rest of the show and tell up in my room, all right? So we're just going to just kind of take some closer closer looks at this uh, this fork, okay? Um, so, yeah, these are the uh, fork guards, all right? It's mounted by three screws, very similar to, like, a motorcycle fork, okay? I'm not really sure what this is. It looks like a... Uh, Looks like where the brake line goes through, I guess. So I guess this is going to move, and then the brake line is just going to sl slide in and out of it. Um, and then this is, looks like where you're going to mount the brake line right here. There should be a clamp here. Hopefully I can find that. <laughs> I think that's in that bag with that plastic stuff. Um, so here's the axles, or the, the axle. All right, there's four pinch bolts. I'm not really sure how much uh, torque that should be at. There's no spec on it. All right, but there's the axle right there. It does say 12 to 15 Newton meters there, so I'm not sure what that 12 to 15 Newton meters is. Um, there's a little Allen bolt here. It looks like a five millimeter or four mil. It says five right there. Okay, so it's five. Okay, there's a little Manitou logo there. And I'm not really sure how this guy works. So it looks like there's a um, there's like a bolt right here, okay? And then the bolt just slots into there. And that keeps this from moving, okay? Yeah, I'm not 100% on how this works. The other side is hollow, and I'm not sure how we're gonna be able to do do the supermoto with this. So Hades may use this. Uh, supermoto sliders and I need to be able to thread a rod through here so I can put the um, the fork, the fork uh, sliders on there okay it says here 
20 millimeter boost. Okay, I think that has to do with the brakes. Okay, and then here you got a TPC high speed adjustment, soft and firm. Okay, and you would adjust it right here, big meaty knob. All right, I guess you could adjust it with this guy and this guy, and, it ha and you can feel the detents. It's quite a bit. So there's one, two, three, okay? One, two. All right, so that's the TPC adjustment. <laughs> okay, it's a high speed, some kind of high speed adjustment is what it says, all right? And then there is another right here incremental volume adjust it says down here okay that says incremental volume adjust depressurize from bottom before removing top cap okay i'm not really sure how that works this is 24 millimeter and 25 newton meters okay i don't know really know what to do with that <laughs> And I'm not really sure what leg does what also. Yeah, I do hear some kind of fluid in there. There's some kind of oil in there. All right, so here's the uh, the outer. Very, very beefy. Um, I will go, when I get the chance, I will go measure it with the caliper. All right, and you've got the stop, your, your stops right here. All right, it says big M right there. So that's your, uh, steering stops these rubber thingies okay there's the steering tube um, so I found out uh, so this indeed is a 29 uh, inch uh, Dorado fork because the upper clamp here all right they call it the upper crown also um, is offset okay the 27.5 upper clamp is straight all right so it's it's it would be like just straight okay but this one goes up and over a little bit okay so that would make this not sure yeah that would give you more clearance for the wheel okay that's why 29 inch okay but you can use this with a 27.5 i believe that's what this sticker is for all right it's just 27.5 here if you're going to use it as a 25 point 27.5 wheel um, you can move this clamp down to here okay so yeah I think that's all the adjustability you get just right here it's not not a lot <laughs> you can't really move the forks up and down all that much all right but it does look very similar to a motorcycle fork it's fancy pants okay okay let's take a look at the uh, stanchions all right it's supposedly a 37 millimeter um, fork stanchions. Very beefy. Uh, we'll do a, when I get the chance, I'll do a side by side comparison with this and the RST fork when I get it off the bike. All right. Um, so here you got your, your brake caliper mount. Okay. I think we're just gonna put our bracket from the RST fork onto this. All right, there's a there's your fork seal or the dust seal okay and there is seems to be some kind of um, c-clip here or snap ring sorta of. and then you've got one of these little rubber bands here to tell you how much uh, sag you've got And it doesn't move very well. It just wants to run a roll around. <laughs> the stanchions are black. Okay. Very nice. And then there's your uh, triple clamp setup. You've got uh, pinch bolts here, pinch bolt here, here, and here. Okay. And then that's your steering tube. The steering tube is really, really long. We're definitely going to have to cut this to get it to fit the sword on. Okay. Um, and then you got the, this one has the EXP sticker, so that means it's an expert. Okay, let's look at the top.
and it's pretty it's pretty light it's not that heavy it's definitely not as heavy as a motorcycle fork I, I'd imagine when you put start putting the bearings and all that stuff on it it probably adds weight though uh, they say this is this version is 20 20 percent more stiff than the previous model okay of Dorado fork okay so here is your air adjustment right here all right this is where you would put the air so I yeah so I guess this leg has the air spring in it okay this is the air spring right here and I guess all your dampening stuff is on this side yeah because you got your adjuster here so I think this is your this is a rebound adjustment I think okay and then this is a oh this is the rebound adjustment okay so so this is rebound I wonder what the compression is Maybe that's the compression. I'm not 100%. I don't really know anything about this fork, guys. He's making it's just kind of looking at it right now. Okay, so there looks like there are some uh, threads in here. All right, on the top, there's four of them for like a direct stem mount. If I wanted to go that way, there is no kind of threading on the bottom. So I don't think we can put any kind of four. Um, I don't think we can put any kind of fender on this. Okay, I'll we'll have to find some kind of fender to work with this. Okay, but Hayes Meg is not gonna put any more low fenders anymore. <laughs> okay, guys, definitely not. Okay, um, yeah. So going back up here. So I guess the rebound is adjusted here. There's a rebound adjustment, and you would adjust it like this. One, two. Okay, that's full. That's full minus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, three. Yeah, about about twenty-two or twenty-three adjustment points okay so it was all the way on the minus okay not super easy to adjust <laughs> okay. lie. it's kind of hard to grip this little thing here okay I think there is a uh, trail side relief okay there's a pressure relief valve here so if there's any kind of pressure build up in the forks, you can let them out here. I'm not really sure how it works. I think you just get an Allen wrench and you loosen it and then you close it again. So that's kind of like a like a pressure relief valve. Okay, here you've got where your, your pressure cap is. Okay, this is where you add air to the air fork. You would, I think you can screw this. Okay. Okay, you unscrew that, and you put your pump in there, and you add or take out air. Okay, it's threaded. Okay, using it has to get a shock pump. This did not come with a shock pump. Boo hoo! <laughs> Why didn't it come with one? I pay thirteen hundred dollars for this and no shock pump. <laughs> I'm kind of disappointed, but I'll just have to get one okay. okay so there you go that is the uh, kind of a quick show and tell of the Manitou Dorado expert okay I think it's very similar to the comp other than uh, this leg is probably different this leg uh, would have the coil spring in it all right honestly I would rather just have the coil spring it's just simpler you just choose the right spring you throw it in there and then you don't have to worry about it anymore okay this one you have to like check the pressure and all that stuff but I guess it's not too difficult either it's like checking car tires right okay so there it is I, I will let you guys know how the install goes all right when I when I get the RST fork out we can compare this to the RST fork I'll tell you this this is much beefier than the RST fork all right it looks like the forks that are on my uh, KLX 140 all right it looks like a motorcycle fork it, lo it looks legit all right guys <laughs> Okay.
So hopefully these these uh, stanchion guards do their job, you know, and protect the stanchions. That's what I'm gonna say. That's what because that's what I need them for. That's why I went with the upside down forks. So these are gonna move up and down. Yeah. Th so when this goes up, this will go up with it. So. So yeah, we can't have any kind of a f low fender. We can't have the fender to brace that goes here anymore because this will move up. Uh, how much travel does this have? Hmm. Well, I could measure how much the stanchions are. Okay, about how much travel does this guy get you? I think there's a way you can adjust the travel. It's roughly eight, eight and a quarter inches of travel. All right, that's kind of travel actually, especially for the front. Mm, I think dirt bikes that have really good uh, travel have about 10 inches of travel. Okay, that's a really tall bike. Okay, so this is eight and a quarter.